Okay guys, so uh, what I wanted to show today is how you guys can uh, make uh, some automated testing uh, really easily, as, uh, the simplest way, right, uh, with Vercel. So this is an example of what we're going to have in the end, is the, the build, right? And let me just scroll down a little bit. Yeah, and here, as you can see, we got the test here, so pass the test API returns correct data. So this is gonna run and your build is gonna fail uh, if the test doesn't run, right? So that's desirable. Um, so yeah, so let's get to it. Okay, so this is my uh, TypeScript project. Um, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna install Jest. So this is the command to install Jest. Jest. So npm install save dev TypeScript Jest types Jest and ts Jest, right? So these are all the things you need to run it with uh, TypeScript, the types, and then the compiler for TypeScript. Then you need to add this line here. So uh, Jest test. Sorry, it's the other way around. Uh, test Jest. Uh, it's just a command that uh, runs the test for you. And you need to also define, uh, if you don't have it yet, a jest.config.js, right? So you just set up your preset to ts jest on the test environment to node, if you're using node.js, which I am, right? And then you can, from here, you can create your uh, test folder. Uh, sorry, this is test. Uh, with some test files here, like api.test.js. Right, and then you can start defining your test. Um, so here you just say test, and then you just use uh, the, the uh, like a description of the test, right? So for example, API returns correct data. Yeah, and then it is an async function um, that is going to define your test with, right? So for example, you can use uh, normal fetch uh, to just call the API so for example I have an API here uh, which is called uh, remove account so let me search ciao remove account um, so yeah basically it's not doing anything yet just waits a little bit and then returns uh, success right success or and then a message account deletion request was made. So we're gonna use those parameters to define the test. Okay, so for example, I can, I can just use uh, normal fetch from Node.js, right? So uh, this will be my local host, local host at port 4000 API, and then the name of the endpoint. Right, and then I'm gonna set the method to post because I'm using a post request method post. Okay, so then I'm gonna get the data from the uh, fetch request, which is data await response.json. Okay, I get the JSON, and now how do I? Oh, sorry, JSON. So now how do I make? Um, sure that my uh, my test there worked so basically you do expect data to have property and then you say the name of the property so in my case the properties I have to write a success and I have message and I can say message uh, is the exact text I have here so account deletion request was made and I can also expect on the other parameter as well to be success right so data to have property success uh, with a value of true and yeah um, you can already uh, run the test so if I'm yeah you can just run uh, npm test or yarn test just to see if it works so let me see if my backend is running yeah it is 
and then yarn test oops sorry I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm in the correct folder yeah I am CD packages CD web uh, and then yarn test let's see just it's running the test yeah on the test pass right so for example if I send false here or some different message then it will not pass so for example uh, yarn test yeah fail uh, the expect uh, expected value true and then receive false right so this is a way to test your endpoints uh, and then you can set it uh, to, to like set on the on the build time right so for example if I go to verse cell um, so if I go here uh, to verse cell uh, and open my let me see if I can find it the, the settings of the projects you see I have uh, sorry it's not the global settings this is the global settings and did you open the project here and then click settings and then I can find here since it's an XJS uh, it will be like this for you right so it's an XJS preset and then it, it will it will not run the the tests this way because it just runs next build right which is the default for next.js so you gotta override the build command and then you s you put something like this either npm or yarn I like to use in yarn so I'll say yarn test and then yarn build right so then save here which is already set up and then once you make the build It will run your tests, but you gotta make sure that uh, you're using the correct URL, right? So this is ju just a uh, local URL. Uh, you can have like a. Uh, I like to use this, so this is a way I set the URL. So I set it to uh, the IP address, which I need to blur out. <laughs> I make sure I blur out when I edit. So the IP address for the first first one is the IP address for the <laughs> sorry this is the local local so 192 so 0.168.0.140 is, is my local IP address and then my uh, production URL if uh, if you're not on, on developing environment right this is React Native that I use and also uh, if if you're not on react native in my case right so if dev is undefined because this dev is just a variable that only react native has so if it's a web environment and uh the the node amp is production then you set the production url yeah so this this thing will get the correct uh uh api url and then i can just use it i can change my my approach here instead of just I can import like an API object uh, and then I can call instead of this I can call like a success message equals API dot post uh, and then the name of the roots uh, remove account await yeah and then you can change little bits because if you get an object back then you have to use to have property right of the object but if you have a uh, simple variables like this you can just uh, put like this and put like a true b and then you don't have to pass the name and it's true and uh, here is also true b right and uh, that will also work and it will work on the 
uh, production environment also, which is cool, right? So let's see if it works. Yeah, it passed, and then if I uh, like uh, submit to trigger a build, right? So I can trigger a new build. So I'll just commit. Uh, and push to just create a new build on Vercel. And then let's check here. Um, it's gonna create a new build. Yeah, it's building. Uh, I wanna show the, the logs of the build, right? So it's building. Use the logs and you'll see yarn test here soon. Let's wait a little bit. Yeah, as you can see, it runs the command, right? So yarn test and then yarn build. So test is gonna run jest and jest is gonna test the API return correct data, which it did. Test suites one past one total. And yeah ran all the test suites uh, so this is a good way to test that your endpoints are still working uh, when you change something right so you should have these uh, this will make the the build time a little bit uh, uh, more like I will take more time to build but uh, if you have uh, if you select your tests well you can it can be helpful to make sure you don't break anything when you submit new features or ch changes, right? Yeah, so that's it for for it, guys. It's probably the simplest way to implement a test. Yeah, guys, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.